Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. And we rise now for the Danish national anthem. impressive match that game this between two very high quality sides a treat for everybody here well in the normal circumstances this is a massive matchup and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away in my experience if the opposition go at it full tilt then you have to reciprocate we like to see excitement and be entertained but if it does go down the serious route there'll still be lots to enjoy So it's down to business here. Mbappe. Pavar. Griezmann. Digne. Rabio. Pogba. Pavar. A fine save the keeper really dug out his defense then a magnificent effort Griezmann plays it short and it's Dina Pavar Conte Rabio Shooting chance! Oh, the kick has done ever so well. Dina is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Conte. Rabio. Conte. And that is as far as they're going to go. Yeah. Denmark have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Bass. France reply all the early pressure. I know it's still early, but they're showing the better signs. No caution from them. Puts it into the middle. Loris is there to take. Rafael Varan. Rabio. Neither side yet able to find the net. The ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw.
He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Dinia. And here's Benzema. Mbappe. Rabiot. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Rabio unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Pogba. And it's Griezmann. Rabio. And here's Benzema. Out to the left it goes. Gets the chance to cross. And that's a ball to nobody in particular. Forward it goes. Hoiberg. Across the field it goes. Delaney. Delaney goes looking. Delaney plays it out to the wing. And it's hoisted clear. Over to the left. Hoiberg. Delaney spreads it towards the left. Whipped in. Up to meet it! Oh, just needed a better contact. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. But Bass Hoiberg still waiting for the first goal, gets into a dangerous position, just brushed off the ball there. Griezmann. Delaney. Vestergaard. Kjaar. Kjaar plays it forward. Inya does well to read it and intercepts. Pogba. Conte. Dinks one in. There's the end of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Reflections on the first half? Well, I think despite the scoreline, it's been watchable and enjoyable. We certainly had a, a vibrant start. And if we were going to see a goal, it, it should have come then. But the odds are favourable for, for this second half. France head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Neither team any further forward than they were when they started out. And the game has already resumed here. France playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half. Despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. And here's Griezmann. It's too strong for his opponent. Good take and he's had a look. Plays it long. Kimpembe can get it clear. Rabio. Dinia. Dinia drives it forward. Rabio. Dinia. Mbappe. A really good feat from him. That's 
That's a brilliant interception. Decent progress down the left. Paulson. Still absolutely nothing to report here, goals-wise. Delaney. Oh, that's neat. Time to deliver. He's gone for it! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Yeah, they've got away with it, but that was a, a defensive letdown to see him march through like that. Baran tries to get it forward quickly. Pogba. And it's Griezmann. They've got a throw in. Gets good distance on it. Pogba. Well into the second half, and still there's... It's Rabio! Oh, that is rather wayward. Yeah, on another occasion, all that went wrong make them right. And the referee has brought play back and showed him a yellow card. Conte. Rafael Varan. Rabio. Dina. Rabio. Hoist it forward. This could spell danger. That's a pop! I really don't think you could expect anything better from the goalkeeper then. We're near heroic territory. And it's Pogba. Pavar. Half an hour gone in the second half. Dina. Kimpembe. Dina. Rabio. Dinia goes up and over. Oh, managed to get it away. And it's played forward. Dinia. Oh, that's nice. In with the challenge. It's intriguingly... Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Vestergaard. Gets wrestled off the ball. Pavar. Rabio. France to retain the ball, but are seemingly in no rush to break forward. Into the last five minutes. Delaney battles to win it back. Hit long and direct. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Delaney. Well, what we're witnessing now just goes against the grain. They're not going to get back into the game like this. Delaney. Forward it goes. Rafael Varane, 
And there goes the final whistle. Well, it looked nil-nil from a fair way out. Little craft or guile or penetration. Defences largely untroubled. It's goals. How do you look back on the game then, Jim?